Hey guys, what is up? JSX Games here. I'm gonna be showing you how to make a bucket server port forwarded. And yeah, um, so first of all, you want to go to the internet. You want to download a thing called Craft Bucket Recommended Recommended Build. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm just gonna drag it right onto my desktop from my other. I got two monitors, so I'm just gonna drag it right onto my into this on my desktop. I'm gonna rename it to Bucket. Drag it in there. Also, you want to make a new folder called text document, then you want to just name it that. Then you want to paste this in. This will be in the description. And then also, this is this is where you choose how much RAM you want to dedicate. I'm just going to put um, a one gigabyte because that's how much I, that's how much I can, my computer can hold. And then I can save as save as type makes all folders, and then make this run dot bat. Save that. Delete this, and then you want to um. I'm gonna drag this spec onto my screen there. I'm gonna run this. Wait for all this stuff to load. We wait for all the um worlds to load. As you can see, all the all the all the files loading in. As you can see, the world, the Nether, the also I'm, next next tutorial I'm gonna be showing. You, now once it's all done that, just press stop. And then it'll close itself. There we go. And then you go to server dot the property server. This is what you can name it. So message of the day. I'm gonna name it JSCX Games, as I did in my other tutorial. You want to get a vanilla server? I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make it like one. May not make it one. Make the game mode one. Let's see if this will work. And then make the um whitelist true. IP don't, don't worry about the IP and then make this just JCS games and you go file save save that and then you can um next door I'll get extra like you make the ops type in your name in the ops so do that just save that and then cross out of it then you want to go to whitelist type in your name again This is, this is if you want a whitelist, but you don't have to have a whitelist. What's this? Oh, that's just that. Don't worry about that. Um, and then also, that's what you do for that. And then let's go on for the port for, for, forwarding. So you want to go to, um, oh yeah, command prompt. So you type in CMD up here. Go to command prompt. There, when you're in command prompt, okay, IP config. And then you, you want to look for wireless LAN adapter, Wi Fi, and then you want to go. Look at the default gate. So mine's 192.168.0.1. So then I type this up in the web browser up here, and then you you wouldn't have this. I've, I've, I just because I tried doing a tutorial like a long ago and I sort of failed it. So I was in this thing already. But then I just look out of that. You type in this again. Go to that, and then you should should bring up something like this. Then the the username will be admin, and the password will be password. If I can spell it right. So there we go. That would be that, and then every web like depending on which um depending on um which um router you have, everything will be different. So I go Big Pond. You you can go to a website called um portforward.com, which will like tell you. It's like a tutorial on how to use every single website for like everything. But with my website, if you want to say thing as me, you go to firewall, and then can I delete this? If I can delete this, no, I just I just make a new one. So um, when I, when I name it MC, start probably two five five six five, two five five six five, and then go back to command prompt, and they're gonna see my IPv4 address, one nine two dot one six eight dot zero point seven. So in here you type in seven, and then you go add. But I've already got one added at the top here, but I'm just gonna like have that. And then you want to go apply, and then click here, and then yum. You go to IP Chicken, which will be in the description. I'm gonna block out my IP so you guys can't like hack into my like Netgear shit and everything. But yeah, I'm just gonna block it out. But this is the IP. You copy it. Um, you can close out of command prompt. You can go back into um, um, you go back into Minecraft. Minus Minecraft, then go to the bucket server, and then launch, run, run the run dot bat. 
minus that, then you go back to your Minecraft again, wait for it to load up. Just waiting for it to load up. It might take a while though. My Minecraft always takes a while to load up. There we go, just, just press play on it. Okay, once you get this up here, just go add server. And then I'm gonna name it my server for now. The IP address will be localhost for you, but if, if your friends if your friends want to want to join, they'll they'll use this IP. Wait, yeah that one, but I'm gonna block it out because this is my IP, but like if you if your friends want to join, you you go to the IP chicken thing and you'll get you'll get this IP from it. You get IP address from IP chicken and then there will also be in the description the um thing, the web browser, the URL, and then yeah, so that how you that's how you do it. But then let's just see if it works. So I'm gonna use it localhost for because it's this is if if you're hosting on your computer, you can use localhost. But if your friends want to join, you have to use the other IP. So you go to localhost, then it should pop up somewhere down here. Let's just wait for it to load. Is this up? Lost connection. Uh, let, me, let me just try to do this thing again. Launch it again. Run that. I don't know why it's taking a while to load. Let, let's, let's try to do it with the um one you get from IP Chicken. <laughs> 